So recently I asked you guys to leave your questions in the community post and thank you so much for all the responses. It's obviously not possible to answer all of it, but I have tried my best to pick questions that will cover all the topics overall. In this video, I'll be answering to your questions related to getting US visa, meeting Sadhguru, Sadhana, my diet, my makeup collection and what's going on in life overall. So if you're interested, please watch till the end. Hi, this is Shadha and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you're watching my video for the first time, let me share with you in brief. I was from fashion background and I got into spirituality like three years back. And for the last two years, I changed my job, moved to Ashram and I've been working in Isha Foundation. And I guess people are confused. Why am I in US right now? So I thought it's the perfect time to do this year's Q&A. So let's jump into the first question. Shashi Rekha. Hi, Shadha. Love your channel. Thank you. Please explain how you got US visa process, please. Well, I got to hear things like how you got the US visa so easily is because of your boyfriend and all. You know what? Right now I'm staying with Reshav, but back in time when he first moved to USA, that time I had no plans to come to US. I thought, okay, next time when he comes back to India, that time we will meet. But it's actually two years back when I moved to Isha Yoga Center. So one day we were having a casual conversation with Swami, the Brahmachari, and he was sharing with us like for how long he's been with Sadhguru. It's been over 20 years now. And he was even with Sadhguru when Sadhguru first applied for US visa. And our Swami has never been to US ashram. And that time very casually I said, Swami, I want to go to US ashram. Maybe we can go together. That time I had no plans. How am I going to come or anything? It was a very innocent wish from somewhere <laughs> and today i couldn't come with swami but somehow i manifested my wish so i actually applied for the b1 b2 visitors visa in 2021 anyone can apply online you have to fill up a long form and i paid around 14,000 rupees and wait for a confirmation email and then book a interview slot. But because of the pandemic, it was almost one year, all the interviews were canceled and I had to wait for so long. But finally, after this year's Mahashivratri, I was so lucky to get the interview slot. And during this time, you just have to keep on checking online whether the slots are available or not. But anyway, it took me one year. During this time, so many people discouraged me, like it's not easy for a girl to get a US visa alone, especially if you're not applying with the family, this and that. But I was so optimistic. I was like, I'm going to US Ashram and I'm going to meet my dog Gohan. That's it. And my interview went pretty well. You don't even need to book a flight ticket before the interview. If you are also applying for a visa, I would say just go with the positive mindset and don't lie in the interview. All they want to check is what is the purpose of your visit? and make sure you're not going to find job there on a visitor visa. They are also going to do a background check if you're going to stay with the person there. So if you already have a family member or a friend staying there in the US, it's easier for you to get approval. And that's all. Now I have a US visitor visa for like 10 years. Right now I have taken loss of pay from my work and because I have this extra income because of my social media and yeah, I feel like I'm very fortunate that I got to take this risk of leaving my job for a few months and come here. Okay, next. Shayani Mahapatra or we say it in Bengali Mohapatro. Hi Shadho, I am Shayani. Just wanted to know how you balance your work life with yoga life. Well, uh, to be honest, I am not the kind of person who never missed their sadhana. There have been time I have missed my sadhana because of my work, because I do not know if it's a good quality or bad, but if I start something, make sure I finish it. Whether it's a work or sometimes even if I take up an online course, even if the classes are boring, I just finish it. Especially on the days when I had to make YouTube videos, I used to record it early morning or late at night. And because I used to edit in my Dell laptop, it used to be so slow and Editing used to be a headache and used to take me all day along with my office work. But with time, I understood like work is also sadhana. It's about how focused you are and sadhana is there to support you in your work. I don't feel guilty anymore if I miss my sadhana for work. Okay, next. AJ Haywood. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong because it's a foreign name for me. 
advice for young people 15 to 21 wanting to live more spiritually well uh, for young people i would say have fun experience everything that this life has to offer just make sure you're doing things consciously even if you're going to a bar don't get so much wasted that you don't know what just happened to you and don't risk yourself don't do anything uh that risk other life i would say just enjoy just be conscious okay next rahul prakash hi shato where do you work and how do you get time to travel well i used to work as a fashion curator before joining isha foundation and my strategy is i work seven days a week so that i get to ask for a little bit longer leave when i need it but most of the time i actually take work from home i have that privilege but like i said this time i have taken loss of pay because it's been months but i always try at least twice a year i should go on a vacation and make travel vlogs okay next is shubhamay patra or shubhamay patro if is bengali are lgbtq people allowed to volunteer at the ashram and is linga bhairavi bhuta shuddhi vivaha available for gay couples well for volunteering your sexual orientation doesn't matter like why would that matter but like i said dating is not allowed and it's for everyone and for this gay couple marriage i really don't know because so far whatever i have seen it's only like a man and a woman getting married in the temple rohan ik why do this parents don't allow their children to do spiritual practices well i know it's a big problem especially in india it happened because of bad press you know this so called secular media is dominating everywhere and you know i used to think they only focus on the bad things about spiritual india but after coming to isha i got to know they don't just showcase the bad thing they also spread fake news about the good part also it's a unfortunate thing that parents still think that if their kids turn spiritual they are into something fraud even some parents who are spiritually aligned they are also afraid that if their kids start doing sadhana they will end up becoming a brahmachari that's the main reason i guess but it's our job to break that thing sadhana should be a part of everyone's life because it's something to support you in life next is interesting username as a side i do okay <laughs> hello akka i wanted to know how does your normal diet in a day look like are you a pure vegetarian or do you eat meat do you have any dietary restrictions well i grew up in a non vegetarian bengali family but actually i used to be allergic to chicken when i was a kid but i was trained to eat chicken because that was the normal thing to be and i ended up becoming like addicted to chicken i used to love chicken but after doing inner engineering i just stopped non veg completely for 3 months i was pure vegetarian but later i understood that diet is not working for me i started getting really bad hair fall problem even my skin was not feeling good so i started eating eggs and seafood but when i am in ashram the diet is completely vegetarian okay in ashram the menu changes every single day they give so many different vegetarian items and it's not just pure veg they even cook without onion and garlic or green chili and it's like fully positive pranic whenever i'm outside ashram i eat like egg and seafood that's it i don't eat any meat at all and i think that was a good decision not being pure vegetarian because now that i'm in us at least i have some option left next aviral omar what to do after 12th any advice for me okay listen carefully i am giving this advice from my life after 12th do not take advice from anyone that was the biggest mistake of my life i listened to a lot of people and they just made me confused i wish i have given myself a little more time to figure out what i actually want to do but i just listen to all the relatives and all the teachers if you have a little bit of time figure out what you really want to do and just throw yourself into it nobody knows what is best for you only you know it that's it
Vaishnavi Chemala Mari. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. How did you get opportunity to meet Sadhguru? I'm a student. How can I meet him? Well, I think this is like one of the very common questions, how to meet Sadhguru. But trust me, nobody knows how to meet Sadhguru. It's almost like totally luck. People literally pay lakhs of rupees just to sit in the front seat of Mahashivratri, just to be a little close to Sadhguru. And I was so fortunate enough that I got to meet Sadhguru here in US Ashram. Like I said, I was in the Indian Ashram for two years and I never got to meet Sadhguru in person because Sadhguru do not have a fixed schedule. He can be anywhere throughout the year. That's the problem of being with a guru who is a little too famous, I guess. But there are programs called Lap of the Master. That is one way. And if you're fortunate enough, you can attend any satsang. That time you can sit in front of Sadhguru. That's how mostly I have seen Sadhguru during satsang. But it was like from far away. And it's totally your luck if you will get to ask a question or not. Shuparna Chaudhuri. Please tell more manifestation stories of yours. At least four or five stories that we get inspired as well. Also, please tell us how you stay completely healthy. Well, uh... Okay, let me tell you this way. I keep on saying I manifested this, I manifested that. But you know what? Every time I go to Swami and say, Swami, I manifested this and that. Swami say, ignore this. It's fine. Whatever you say, you've manifested this and that. But if you just get carried away by this manifestation, people in the spiritual path end up destroying their life because the focus is not on manifestation. The focus should be on doing your sadhana so that your mind is in a state so that you manifest only the good things. Otherwise, if your manifestation is strong, but your mind is not in place, you will end up manifesting bad things that you are not able to handle. I think it's just my sadhana and Guru's grace how life is going so far. Okay, next. Meetu Datta. Hi, Shatadi, it's Vaishnavi. Okay, maybe she's commenting from some other account. My question for you is that how did this sadhana help you? Did it really make the difference in your perspective for everything which happens in life? I'll be very glad if you will answer my question. Well, definitely my perspective in life has completely changed as my sadhana grew. Of course, there was a lot of ups and downs in life. I'm not like this yogi who is fully focused, but every time I'm not regular with my sadhana, the changes are visible and that's why I give it so much importance. Like take one sadhana and just make it a part of your life. Okay, next. Shantani Banerjee. Hi Libra girl. Hi. The list of questions is long, but as of now, can you share your hair product collection? I see you as my YouTuber friend, a modern version of pen friend that existed in older days. Oh, that's nice. I've got more questions related to like hair care and makeup things. Like Malu also asked, long ago you promised to share your makeup collection video. Please a minimal makeup not yet uploaded till now. Hope you will include it in next video. Okay, so let me share with you my hair care product first and then I'll show you my makeup. So if you do not know, in the year 2020, Jan, after doing my BSP, I actually shaved my head and I offered my hair in Devi Temple. I already shared that before turning spiritual, I used to style my hair every single day, either straighten or curl. I used to use Philip hair straightening iron and uh, I used to use iconic hair curler that I still have with me now. This is the one that worked for years but it works with extreme heat which is not good for my hair and previously i used to use a lot of hair product like hairspray conditioner and all that and i also used to color my hair but now my hair care routine has completely changed because it took two years to grow and it's so precious to me now i use only amla oil or coconut oil and i just shampoo my scalp that's it. I do not use any conditioner and I do not use any hairspray or hair mousse or anything. So I thought this is the time to get rid of this hot curling iron and I switched to Dyson Airwrap 
it's a little too expensive so i bought a refurbished one so it came with this really nice box and uh, these are the attachments this is the main device and you just attach it like that it has this dryer this brush helps you get rid of your frizzy hair this is for curling today i have styled my hair with this curling barrel i know it's expensive but i think it's a good investment for longer hair care because it doesn't damage your hair and for makeup people say i look natural because i do not use full coverage makeup i do not use any foundation or i do not contour my face or anything like that all i use is this LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm in the shade medium beige and I use this MAC Studio Fix. I'm in the shade NC42. I got this matched from a MAC store and I think it's a pretty good match. The most important thing in my makeup is my eyebrow pencil. This is from Nykaa. I think if my eyebrows are not done, my eyes look more rounded and big. That's why it's the most important thing in my bag. Other than that, I have this Maybelline New York Colossal Casual and this Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Mascara only when I'm going somewhere outdoor at night only then I use this and for eyeshadow I have this Maybelline City Mini Palette it's all brown so that's why you hardly see any colors on my face sometimes I like to use blush in daytime I use this sugar blush shade number 4 Salmon Superstar I love this color and for lipstick these are the three lipsticks that i have all maybelline one is toasted brown it's like a brown nude color touch of spice it's like a pink nude color and get ready but just like a red red color and i think these three colors are enough to mix and match for nail paint also I have these two. This one I recently bought from Target. This is from SC. I don't know. E double S I E. Shade number 144. It's like a pinkish nude color. And this one from Ravlon 535. This is like a, again, nude color. So that's it. That's all I have. One thing I bought out of interest, which I probably never going to wear. I got this e.l.f eyeshadow palette recently i bought this because it has this black and blue shade which is like really rare to find in under ten dollar that's why i bought this okay so time for the last question but this was actually the first comment by shraddha bishwash or shraddha bishash hi d so i'm the first one i know thank you okay so my question is how are you doing well you know shraddha Thank you so much for asking this question because people ask me a lot of questions related to their queries but it's very rare someone asks me how am I? Thank you so much. Maybe in my videos I always look very happy and energetic and I only show you the best part of my life, the happiest moment of my life but of course life is a mixture of ups and downs. And I'm very fortunate that I got to come to USA and Rishabh is really taking good care of me. I'm a terrible cook and he cooks for me. He gives me food. He takes me to places because I'm not allowed to drive here. But there were some moments where I was feeling really low. At one moment, I almost started crying. I said, I want to go back to India. I don't have any freedom here. I cannot go anywhere. And he's so caring. He bought me a new cycle. So at least I can go nearby with my cycle. But in the meantime, I also spent a lot. Like buying a new phone, spending on this expensive hairstyling kit. And my return ticket and all that. But at the meantime, I also had some issues with my family. My dad was in hospital and my sister is stuck in Taiwan. I hope nothing bad happens there. So it is actually life. Life is not always so happy, happy, but it's just us, how we handle the situations. Thank you so much for asking this question. It was the most special question for me. 
that's why i chose to answer it in the end thank you so much i'm doing fine my dad is fine my sister is fine i'm also doing fine my whole family is doing fine and uh, i hope you guys are also doing fine let me know if you like this video give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and please do subscribe if you haven't yet you can also follow me on my instagram link is in the description that's it bye